Hey what's going on everyone this is Kedar here and today in this video we are going to see the latest build from Windows 11 it's a uh, 22.132 and let's see what are the new features. So in Windows 11 both the classic snipping tool and snip and sketch app have been replaced by a new snipping tool. This represents you know best of the both worlds both apps are now integrated. This snipping tool can be really useful for taking screenshots and also you can draw with your bare hands like a preform drawing onto the screenshot. So here you can see uh, this is how you can track the snip and you can choose whatever portion you want to select and there we go this is our snip. To access this tool well you can simply go into the start menu and you can search for a snip and sketch and there you can see right in the apps there it is. So clicking on new you can see now you have options to you know do your snip so you can do freeform you know window snip and other stuff like that. So if you want to take a particular area of your screenshot so you can simply drag your mouse and get a particular snap there. After taking a snap you can do various kinds of things like a touch and writing so you can draw over it like this. This feature can be handy for you know quick illustrations and you know teachings and that kind of stuff. Thinking about the tools, well you can select the colors, also you can select various types of uh, pens, markers and other types of strokes. Talking about some more tools, you can see we have a ruler, so you can move this ruler and take a real time measurements, also you can angle it and basically rotate in any angle that you want. So this can be really useful for geometry related stuff you know. Do let me know what you think is it useful for, for any particular use that you are thinking of. Hotkey for a snipping tool is a Windows Shift S so you can simply access this tool with this hotkey. The new change is coming from a calculator app. Now it's uh, looking much beautiful and also includes new themes. So just like the snipping tool you have new whole lots of themes in the calculator as well. Apart from these themes you have lots of more options included. So you can complete your homework, manage your finances, plot and analyze the equations, evaluate algebra, trigonometry and complex math expressions. So let's say I wanted to convert a currency. I always used to use a Google for that. Now you can simply do it over here. You can simply do a currency conversion. Also basic day to day math related stuff is possible to do over here. There are more than 100 different units and currencies available so yeah. And the thing I liked most about the calculator is that no matter what work you do the calculator will always stay on the top so it won't get hidden behind the tabs or whatever work you are doing so it was a simple little update but most useful in my opinion moving over to the next change well it's about the mail and calendar you can see the rounded corners onto the icons so that's a visual change over there also now mail and calendar can reflect your windows 11 theme so whatever theme you have set it up will be reflected onto your mail and calendar. So you can see I have set a dark theme and my calendar looks like this. So that's all for today's video guys. Do hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.